YouTube, let me show you on a few easy steps how to create this gradient motion blur effect. Let's jump straight in. Okay, so this effect is made in three main steps. The first is a path blur. The second is a gradient map. And the third is masking. So let me jump in with the path blur. So what you want to do is duplicate your layer, come up to filter, blur gallery, and path blur. Now the path blur allows you to bend the line in multiple directions. And if I increase the speed in the top corner here, it bends it on this curve rather than in a straight line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly bend it up and then towards the end, slightly bend it down. And you can play around with this for a while, get it just how you want it. There's a lot of options with this. See, I'm quite happy with this line. So now I'm just going to adjust the speed. So just up in this top right corner here, change the speed and then press OK here. OK, so now moving on, I'm going to get the gradient map. So what I will do is come down to adjustments, select gradient map here and make sure that this gradient icon is selected rather than the mask. Now I wanna right click on this and create a clipping mask. This is so that the color will only apply to the blurred layer and then we can get rid of areas of the blurred layer to reveal the base image. If you select on the gradient icon, select the bar and now you can choose your colors. I have a few gradients saved. Uh, this is completely up to you. You can pick them how you like. If you don't have any of these presets saved, I would suggest a dark color on the left. So like black on the left, white on the right, add in some colors in between. So I'm gonna select one of these down here. I'm gonna select this gradient here and press okay. And now as I zoom out, you can see that the whole image has the color applied to it. So what I'm now gonna do to reveal this is select the blurred image layer, add a layer mask, and now press B. And I wanna have my black brush selected so that I can now start to hide the colored areas outside of the image or away from the car. So you see, as I hide this, the lines affect only the car so now you can swap with, if you press X, you can swap between black and white brushes to hide and reveal certain areas. So you can make this very directional. You can make it follow just the line that you created in the path blur section. And I wanna make it look like it's coming out of the front and the back. So there you go, I'm gonna use this. And I'm gonna use the white brush around the back edge here and then follow that line. And there we go, that is the blur effect with the mask. So now if you ever wanna go back and change it, if you're not happy with the way that the blur is uh, running through the image, if you double click on the blur gallery, you can change the line. You can completely readjust it and then just readjust the mask. It's all editable. So once you've made a step, you can go back and change it. So let's say if I change this line here, if I just select the mask again, use my black and white brushes and I can just hide and reveal more areas. There you go. I think I prefer it like this as well. So I'll keep it this way. I'm just going to draw in a few of this back bits there. And there we go. That is the blur done. Now, the last step here is you just want to add a texture in. So I'm just going to drag in this copy scan texture and adjust the layer settings put this on screen and put it to 50%. And now it's quite light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this, selecting exclusion. And now you can see that the texture comes through on the lighter areas, making it slightly darker. So now if I'm just gonna reduce the opacity of that to 15, maybe even 10. And now here you can play around with the image adjustment settings. So for example, what I might do is vibrance. So if I come down to this, just to make these bright colors slightly more saturated. Works really well with gradient maps if you use the, uh, the saturation setting. Just helps to keep everything very bright. And there we go, that is your effect. And now at any point, if you wanna go back and change your colors, you can just double click on the gradient map, change through here. I've selected the red in this case because of the car, but obviously you were able to pick anything you want. And there we go, that is your effect. And that's the effect all finished. Thank you for watching till the end. I do appreciate it. If you want more tutorials like this, subscribe for more. I'll see you again soon. <laughs>